Has a lot on her mind. I, don't know, I think she's saying bad words to me, but it's okay. She really loves it. She she does. <laughs> so I just got home not too long ago from work, and then Sweetie put these on for me because she's such a good girl. She's. Are you a good girl? Yeah. You're mad. Oh, I can't see your eyes. She's over it. <laughs> Anyway, my Epiprenum Albo is tripping. She is, um, she's basically trying to get leggy and I'm telling her, no, we don't, we don't do that. So I'm going to cut her up, the nodes up, and I was going to put the nodes in sphagnum moss, but I'm going to go ahead and put them in my terrarium. And then I might move some plants around in there too. I don't know, but yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Right, CC. So here's how she currently looks now. She has low variegation, but I don't mind because she's still beautiful. Still a beautiful plant. So I'm just going to cut her runner. I'm going to cut her right here. And then of course I'm going to just go ahead and cut in between each of the nodes so I can propagate those or just have them grow in the terrarium. So here's what I have now and here is my terrarium so I have some dead matter in there and some spring tails. So spring tails they actually feed on the dead matter and they have multiplied like crazy <laughs> and so I am going to clean up some of these dead leaves I actually haven't opened this terrarium in almost two months the last time I watered it which was a long time ago so I'm just cleaning up the dead leaves and so I have that Syngonian, it's a Maria Illusion, I believe, and then a variegated string of hearts cutting, and then a Hoya, not sure the variety. And then over here, that is a Monstera Adamsonii node. So I'm going to go ahead and put one of the nodes really just anywhere there's open space. And also you'll see the bottom right there is a pink nerve plant there. So I decided to put one of these in my sphagnum moss propagation box that I just started with some pothos cuttings uh, a few weeks ago. So here's my terrarium and also if you are just wondering the stuff I use in there going starting from the bottom leka, charcoal, mesh and then just soil and perlite and I've only opened this up no more than four times and I've had this since the beginning of the year and so I'm gonna just let her do her thing and also you can see the beautiful tiny roots <laughs> 